that's how it starts. Welcome to Throwing Fits the Afters. We go back to you. Uncut bonus content for our best friends behind the paywall. This week, we are fucking around getting silly with New York Times staff editor, Willie Staley. Willie, what do you want to say to the homies on Patreon.com slash Throwing Fits? Thank you so much for supporting the boys. You know, it, means, <laughs> it means a lot to them. Yeah. And, and to you, uh, clearly. And, and to me. Independent media, bro. Yeah, Independent dude. media. It's really thrilling. You know, let's get these guys Rogan big. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Let's go. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to beef with Clapton or whoever the fuck. You I know, want to, I want to take an ice bath. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want you want to have like ayahuasca retreat sponsoring you, dude. Exactly. Crypto wallets, please. Free dude. DMT. Other, yeah, you know, uh, fucking holsters that like you can uh, you know for babies gun yeah. holsters for yeah, babies. Yeah, yeah. Let's get you guys tactical. Let's get tactical. <laughs> Say, I want some less. urban warfare sponsors. That's you know, stuff swag. Like, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. We don't got fucking listeners. We got a motherfucking militia. Willie. <laughs> First question. Mm-hmm. Would you rather your son, your beautiful baby boy, mm-hmm. grow up to be a fuck boy or a reply guy? Wow. <laughs> Coming in hot. A lesser of evil situation. Mm-hmm. Which definition of fuck boy? Uh, like the current, the current novel where it's not, it's not about just sleeping around with, diff- with a lot of women. But that's, part, like, that's definitely part of it for it's sure. Definitely part of it. But it's like, um, afraid to his identity is wrapped up in like consumption. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's a fucking kind of a loser. <laughs> and he just like, <laughs> He dicks down these art hoes, just like trying to find. Would you rather validation. your son dick down art hoes or reply to people on Twitter? To reply to like magazine editors, yeah, yeah. Exactly. on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> why do you cop um, Wordle, bro? Wow, I I really have to say, I want him to have fun. I I, I don't <laughs> on Twitter. I, I want him to dick down art hoes. I, I I want him to have a fulfilling life. I guess by then he'll be dicking down NFT hoes. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I, uh, I, God, what do I want for him? This is, this is a really tough question. I mean, I think the reply guy thing is safer. That seems like a more, it seems like a more normal route. I'd rather him do but that. Pathetic. The, I yeah. know, but I want him to be cool that too. Means he's getting, <laughs> yeah, that means this is a really hard question. That means yeah. he's getting no pussy. But I mean, you're not cool. You're not cool if you're all wrapped up in strictly consumption. I don't know if yeah. that's an offensive thing to say on the podcast. No, that's well, the, no, listen, no, listen, bro. This Ari is, dose is speak your fucking less, truth, dog. Better. Yeah. Fuck more, fuck better. <laughs> That's our motto. <laughs> fuck more, fuck better. Yeah. Honestly, on balance, I feel like you could outgrow the fuck boy thing. Well, that's you know, a fa- like, a fa- like it's a phase. It's a, yeah, yeah. Like it's people a phase. are reply guying into their forties, dude. That's embarrassing. I'm a I'm a fuck boy survivor. And you could be like, and, <laughs> you could, right, and you could be like, you could be like, you know, one of the main guys. You know, yeah. You, you yeah. could you could work your way through. So so maybe I uh, yeah I don't know. I guess I'm gonna err on the side of fuck. Boy. A fuck boy I might have his own reply guys, whereas a reply guy he's got nothing. Though I don't really have any. I really want to be clear. They're my vassals. And, yeah. You know, yeah right. And I I'm cool Shout with that. I really guys. I really yeah. appreciate them. They're fun. respect. Shout out all the reply guys. Yeah. Willie, um, how long have you been at the New York Times? Uh, I've been there for eight years. Wow, wow, yeah. dude. So you've, you're like locked in. You're happy there. I'm locked in. Yeah, I'm very happy. You're watching the wall. It's it's it's, it's great. Well, the guild's got your back. Let's say the that for back. whatever reason the guild dissolves. You're fucking <laughs> given given the boot by Ari. Himself. Yeah, I'm like fired for being on this podcast. Yes, basically, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, truly. I mean, yeah. the, um, we, do not do not manifest that. Thought. We we miss one of the <laughs> I cuts. Of, I don't <laughs> yeah. want, I don't want that blood on my hands. Yeah. And I don't want that demon on my shoulders. For your next job, would you rather be the editor in chief of the Drunken Canal or the editor of Dua Lipa's newsletter? I, both are cushy gigs. Yeah. Both and both examples of 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 queens running their own media empires. I know. So I I neither because I wouldn't want to take a job, you know, that should be for working a for a woman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying I wouldn't gotcha. want to take a, I wouldn't want to take a job from either of those women who are running their own things. Right. You don't want to you wouldn't want to sully it. Yeah. Do a leap exactly. clearly writing her own newsletter. Yeah, right. Totally. <laughs> More power to her. You know, she's got nothing but hits. Uh, you know. So that's a that's a that's a firm pass from Big Willie. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll go. Uh, I feel like I, I'd be better positioned, though not at all capable, actually, of of doing the drunken canal thing. What do you think you know, of this trend of celebrities interviewing celebrities in like magazine cover stories? I absolutely hate it. That would actually be a good answer to the thing that you guys were asking. What do you want to see? Oh, in media yeah. Die? What do What do I want to see in media? Die? All of Interview that, Magazine. Thank you for feeding me that. So Interview Magazine. I mean, a good idea, right? Like, sure. They were. It was the only place doing that for a long time, yes. and, uh, and, and and people and, ran and, off with their swag. Yeah, but I mean, it's also sort of this this uh, a problem you encounter in media, which is that uh, you know access is 
harder and harder to get. Right. If you want to do good profiles, now, I, I do believe in the good celebrity profile. I think that I think that reading look at, look at magazines should be fun. Look at Katie Weaver. Zach Barron. Yeah. Jonah Weiner. There's mm-hmm. like, there's a bunch exactly. of, uh, you know, there's, Willie there's, Staley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, it, there, it's, it's a, it's a pleasurable thing to read. It's great to, to, to get to know people in the culture and, and what they're really like. And, and, and you provided a way of thinking about them and you need that access. And, you know, um, you, you're probably aware of this. It's, it's harder and harder to get and more and more places bargain a lot of stuff away. So right. they're like, Oh, so we'll, we'll let a friend, we'll let a names. homie, we'll right, let a right. homie, let a, softballs. let a homie interview them. Let them write their own thing. Let Ugh. them pick the photographer. Guess let the them do. Yeah, that sucks. I, <laughs> I do hate that. And, you know, it makes it. It's not just a journalistic thing. It, it It's also that um, it, it it weakens your bargaining position if you're you're at a place that doesn't play that game. So then you don't. So then do you hate that we are giving you carte blanche when it comes to cutting whatever audience you want? <laughs> Which, by the way, Willie cut nothing. Yeah. Uh, he's, yeah, an that, open, exactly he's an open, right. they call him Willie no cuts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no take cuts. Willie. Willie yeah. uncut, dude. I think you guys mentioned that I cut something earlier, but no, no, no way, dude. Uh, you're bugging, so- <laughs> bro. You're bugging. So I, uh, yeah, I mean, this, that shit this sucks, is not, right? that's you like, guys have no journalistic integrity. Zero. It's like, the, that's we're the not point. a journalistic operation. You're not, you're no. not like a big glossy magazine that I was but so it, is, I believe your boy JC, Jay-Z said it best. It's only entertainment, dude. That's all it is. Is the expectation now generally like, Celebrities like, oh well, I want my best friend um, or like my makeup artist to interview me. <laughs> I, no, I, I don't. That doesn't happen all the time. You see, you, you, you <laughs> my see, hairdresser. You you see things like this happening. Clearly, people people are given like pre written questions or even right, like yeah. writing their responses. I've seen weird yep. shit out there, you know, and it it sucks. It's, it's yep. not interesting. It's it's not. it's not. You're not gonna. There are instances where it might be eye opening to have one celebrity talk to one another, uh, talk talk to another. But but um, yeah, in the context of a glossy magazine, I feel like you, you've got to do the profile and got to do it yeah. right. And it sucks. If it's not Julia Fox's date night with Kanye West. We do right. not. There, give that was that's fascinating. Uh, fuck. What it's do you think awesome. of that? The interview stuff. I I was. What is it I was, called? Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, honestly, like the first time I saw it, I was mildly disturbed because I was like, what, what is this? You know, right. what is, and then like the second time they did it, it's a I, entry I from came a around girl. to like, I came around to thinking it was kind of interesting, not as a piece of journalism, but in terms of whatever performance the art con, yeah, I'm not going to go there. I yeah. think I should, like whatever famous people are doing is performance art, but, but it is, it, it became interesting to me, like whatever, like hyper object they're making of their, of their maybe fake relationship is actually like whatever they're up to might be interesting actually. Right. Right. For, I felt I, and as, as, as a piece of journalism, obviously it's dog shit, but, <laughs> but if you take a step back, but if you're like, Balenciaga, you're fucking well, loving it. Yeah. But, Caking up. Like it, there's, there's just like, it, it's wrestling. It's interesting. Like right. what, what is the, what's the plot line, which what, is what podcasting is. It's too. barstool sports. Yeah. yeah. It's, Honestly, it's, yeah. it's Davy page. It all stuff. comes back to the stool and stuff. It's powerful, powerful fashion, fashion barstool sports. You want to see where things are going? Look at what Davy's up to. It's, Unfortunately, <laughs> that true. is, I, it, that's it, not that, a joke. That is that's true. That's what I think is, that's he is, what I find he is so the weather vein. He is the weather vein of, He's, uh, yeah. climate of the change. culture <laughs> for the full afters with this week's guests and even more bonus content. Make sure you check out patreoncom slash throwing fits. Like